All right, welcome back, everybody. This is Bowen bringing you a little video in the other game about an apocalypse that came out in March, State of Decay 2. We've got a lot uh, on the docket this episode. So I've got my community leader, Gil, and my main man, Charlie, out on patrol, working on some missions. You'll see we've been souping up some of our rides. Charlie's been taking care of all that in the auto shop. Which, let me just show you a quick look at my base over here. So I finally finished the auto shop, got the hydroponics uh, maxed out, maxed out infirmary. I had to destroy the garden, or the farm, excuse me, for one of Gil's leader goals or leader missions where I had to upgrade or convert a facility. So I just tore it down and then rebuilt it. So what we're going to do this episode is we got a lot of missions up here in the north side of the map to take care of. One of them being Gil's leader mission to advance the story, look at this water supply. But then we're also going to be helping out these enclaves up here in the north. So without further ado, and actually we are going to take this because we need... Actually, does this have a... It does have a truck. Cool. Because we need all the gas we can get. And this thing supposedly has a huge fuel tank. Alright. Let's head up there. Hopefully we have enough daylight to get through all this. I meant to start this episode right as the sun was rising. But some things kind of got sidetracked. I basically had no missions for my community to do so I kind of just floundered around and then all at once I've got a whole bunch of these missions which let me take care of that so what's annoying about the fire station is yes you do get built-in power and water but only for one hour and 45 minutes which means that they turn off at separate times but all of your facilities require you know, kind of constant power and water, especially my hydroponics, which is feeding me. But I'm in a pretty good position now. I have my farm making medical supplies and my hydroponics making food, actually. And based on that in my outpost, I'm almost uh, self-sustainable at my community. The only thing that I am losing every day is materials, and that's only about three per day. So as long as I can keep those in stock which I've been able to do uh, it looks like this community can survive indefinitely which is pretty great I found some useful things while I was out. oh thanks Merjan all right so this first one we're gonna be doing I think I missed my stop or not my stop my turn but that's okay. We're going to take care of some of these Enclave missions. We're just kind of go from west to east, knocking out each of these missions. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, what was that? Uh, survivor in need. Oh, you're really far away. Oh. I'm right here. I meant to go west to east, but it looks like these guys need my help a little more presently. Alright, let's see what we can do. Take this! Oh, you got nothing. I just got you stun locked over here with my maxed out sword play. Yeah. There you go. Oh, looks like you're still. need some help in here, no problem. Let's take care of this. Ow, no problem. Oh, wow, I <laughs> sent that guy flying. Boosh. Ooh. Thought you had me. Ducked ya. Help me out, Charlie. Oh, wow. Gil is unstoppable over here. Man, they just keep coming. And totally whiffed on that leg sweep there. No problem. Oh, 
Uh, this is not what I was looking for. Was it? Yes, it was. Somebody could get that, please. <laughs> Damn it. Ow. Not today. Ooh, there goes your leg. No more screaming for you. Oh, nice job, guys. All right. One mission down. Another way that I've been able to remain sustainable, not what I want, that's what I want, is by constantly trading with my Enclave buddies. Uh, so all the, not all the ways, but most of the time you'll find Enclaves that have rucksacks of material available for purchase and as long as you've got a high enough influence which you will just by playing you can find basically any supplies that you're in short supply of which is really useful and it basically means that on lower difficulties the game is basically unlosable <laughs> because you can just you know travel around to all of the different enclaves at the beginning of every day and then pick up whatever supplies you need and then you don't have to worry about the rest of the map being depleted of resources whoa kidwell talk about an unsavory welcome thought she was shooting at me there for a second all right what do you need oh i need to talk to nazario uh, God damn it, I gotta check in on fucking Parker. He's the guy that abandoned uh, Lissa and Brooke at that one location where we went and picked up that gun for him from his dead friends. He couldn't handle seeing all of his dead friends just strewn out as uh, zombies. How do I get over there? Oh, I follow this. I gotta follow this path over here. Oh, wow, nice digs you got over here, Parker. This is a really cool, really sophisticated base. Hey, anybody here? Oh, he's hurt. Got a sprained ankle from running away from all of his problems. And my farm's back up to level two. It's pretty nice. Ooh. Bit of a bump there. Yeah, it looks like we're running out of daylight. We gotta finish these next two missions pretty quick. Nice job there. Yeah, no problem. There we go. I don't know why I'm going to the pump station. I already have water. I don't know what your play is here, Gil. What have we got here? Um, I don't think I need the pump station. If I'm going to be honest, Gil. 
our base already has a nice supply of fresh water. Ooh, instead of power tools. I'm gonna pick that up. That's nice, though. And I don't have any outpost slots, so rather than do this pointless thing, we are just going to move on here, and looks like we're going to have a bit of action. Gunfight at the clinic. There's another enclave that has cropped up over here in the northeast corner around Camp Winchester. Thanks, Noble, because I'm nowhere near you, and I'm not going to be able to get back in time. Don't worry about that, Feral. We'll get it some other time. Right now, we've got to go deal with these banditos that are harassing our good doctors up here in the north. I gotta watch the news. What have you got for me, Carolina? All right. Think we can do this, Charlie? Oh, I've actually got to wait for them? Oh, well, this is kind of boring. All right, well, I'll cut to when the action happens. All right. What's it going to be, hombre? All right, what's it? What's what's it? Hello? I'm the person you're supposed to be negotiating with. Uh, it isn't... Uh. I don't have any painkillers. I might be able to go back to the outpost in enough time and get some. But, <laughs> their enclave is called the humans. Um, we're going to make things interesting here, guys. Give me your stuff. All of it. How about you give me your stuff? Oh, I don't think they even have guns. Not running from me. Oh, that was the wrong guy. Whoops. Just gotta I'm shooting. I'm shooting the wrong people. Just hang on. Hang on. Hang on. There we go. <laughs> Red man's coming back. Okay. Uh, Carolina. No problem. You are more than welcome. All right, that'll probably do it for this episode, then. We had a lot of fun. That fight, honestly, was a little more anticlimactic than I was hoping, but hopefully there'll be more adventures in the next episode. See y'all.